The first part of a lab report is called an introduction. A good introduction will tell the readers what you are trying to achieve and how to achieve it. In another word, a good introduction will tell the readers the purpose or the purposes of the experiment and the experimental principle, the principle to achieve the experimental purposes. Sometimes, when you explain the principle of the experiment, you have to include equations. It can be mathematical equations or chemical equations. If you only have good writing skills in English, it does not guarantee you can write a good introduction. Because in addition to the writing skills, you have to truly understand how the experiment works. If you don't understand how the experiment works, you cannot write a good introduction with only good writing skills. Therefore, make sure you understand the experiment. If you don't, please come and find me. Next, I'm going to use an example to explain what is a good introduction. This is a sample introduction of experiment one. At the very beginning, it says the purpose of the experiment for part one. Then explain the principle of part one. And it states the purpose of the second part of the experiment. Then explain the principle of the second part of the experiment. It also includes the necessary equations for our calculations after the experiment. Therefore, this is a pretty good introduction. Apparently, you have to understand how the experiment works in order to judge whether the introduction is good or not. But at least, you know the format is pretty good. Experimental purpose, principle, experimental purpose, and principle. But sometimes, for simple experiments, you can put down all the experimental purposes together, then explain the principle or principles of the experiment. It is up to you.